Hello, um, this is Matthew. I missed last week's, uh, vlog, um, because I started, my, uh, I started classes again, uh, this semester at my university. Um, the new semester at my university started, so, and I just, the, the vlog just slipped my mind. Um, so, it's not perfect. <laughs> you miss, you miss, uh, vlogs here and there. It happens. Um, but today I wanted to talk about um, the pros and cons of self-improvement or the positive and uh, the negative of self-improvement. Um, and I sort of mean like the process of self-improvement and, and the self-help industry and um, just one's thought or, or, or just one's attitude. Um, uh, towards self-help. I mean, there's, those are multiple different, those are uh, somewhat different things. So I realize I'm kind of throwing two into one. Um, I'm throwing two eggs into one basket, but, uh, when I think a lot about like the self-help industry, um, I'm very skeptical of it because I think like people are making a lot of money. They're profiting off of, um, uh, you know, people's continual need to feel like they're getting smarter and working harder and um, feeling more at peace and less angry and all the all that good stuff. Um, they're getting rid of the negativity in their lives and leading, leaving, living positive lives. Um, but you know, there's there's a there is a um, what's the word? Uh, an illusion, perhaps you could say, or, or there's a, a falsity, a falsehood uh, built, a falsity. There's a falsehood built into, you know, that thought process in the sense that, like, you know, you can't, um, continual self-improvement and, and uh, is, uh, you can't continually self-improve. Um, you always have certain flaws. Um, some of your flaws might stick with you, um, for, your lifetime. Others might be more um, confined to particular ages or particular situations. Um, but, you know, you're never gonna reach perfection. And at some level, it's like a self-help industry is just continually, like, egging people on. Like, you've got to keep on getting better and better and better. And, um, that's kind of toxic. It's, at the end of the day, it's kind of toxic positivity in the sense that, you know, you're aiming for positivity, but, like, that's all you want is positivity, 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 which is just not how um, any of this, any of this thing, that's just not how life as we know it works. Um, but having said all that, like, um, I realize that I, myself, <laughs> am trying to um, improve. I myself have certain habits and, and thought processes and, um, uh, what I would consider faults or flaws that I'm working on. Um, I'm trying to lead a happier, healthier life. I'm trying to have a more positive, laid-back attitude about things. I'm trying to not let certain things bother me. Trying to work on, um, you know, things about my past, say, that I've held on to this whole time. Um, so, I am, I guess, trying to improve myself, um, despite being critical of a lot of self-help, uh, maxims or a lot of uh, self-help gurus, um, and I was thinking about this because I've watched several over the past couple days or so, maybe even a week or so, I was watching, uh, quite a bit of, like, self-help videos on YouTube, um, and I was like, mm, this is interesting. I'm not a big self-help guy, but I'm going to self-help <laughs> or I'm going to videos, YouTube videos and kind of reading articles about self-help. It's like, hmm, there's a bit of a contradiction there. Let's think about that. Um, cause if there's a contradiction in your thought or conduct, that means there's more room to explore. Um, there's stuff you haven't thought about properly. Um, perhaps. Um, there's there's a greater complexity or depth to the issue than um, you might have previously thought. Than you might have previously thought.
Um, and I suppose it just goes back to, you know, what the, how the Buddha, I don't know if the Buddha said this exactly, but everyone attributes the Buddha, to the Buddha, the idea of like the middle path and not taking things to either extreme, um, which is not an uncommon idea. It's not a necessarily even, um, it didn't even necessarily originate with the Buddha. I mean, Aristotle talked about this. He, he thought, you know, uh, virtues and vices, or that, that um, there were like, uh, vices and virtues, and then I guess excess or something. I forget the exact phrase, but it's like um, Aristotle talked about how there are certain traits can be um, you can take them to excess, or you can have them in uh, you can have a, a deficiency in that trait, but you want to find be uh, be somewhere in the middle on that trait. Um, so, like for example, you don't want to be um, cowardly, uh, but you don't want to be um, needlessly put yourself in danger, uh, or be, like, reckless. You want to have courage. I want to say it was like, yeah, it was like, cowardice is the deficiency of that trade, and uh, recklessness is the excess of that trade, but you want to be in the middle, you want to have courage. Um, and so, that's what I'm trying to do, I guess. I'm trying to find ways to help myself and find ways to improve my life. Um, find ways to improve my conduct and my, um, uh, mental, uh, find ways to improve my mental health. Um, but I don't want to be, uh, like obsessed with that. I don't want to be, um, I don't want to get stuck in to toxic po uh, positivity. Like, Oh, I don't feel better today or I'm just having a bad day. Call it for all must be for nigh. <laughs> um, all must be for naught. I forget if it's not or not. Um, so, you know, um, I'm trying to find that middle path between like improving yourself, but not getting wrapped up in it. Um, because at the end of the day, um, really, um, you just have to live your life. <laughs> you know, you, you can't, um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with self-improvement, and you, I think people want to improve. Um, but, you know, perhaps there is some wisdom in, in just kind of living your life and not worrying too much about your flaws and um, uh, your foibles and your supposed negative qualities or traits. Uh, I mean, I'm a special case. Or not, I'm not a special case. Let me rephrase that. But um, I am one of those people that kind of, I guess, is in some sense in recovery. Uh, I've had some, eh, some somewhat bad experiences in my life, kind of some traumatic events. I mean, everyone goes through some trauma, but um, I've had some <laughs> very interesting and unfortunate experiences in my life, and so that's kind of led me to have certain uh, issues and like how I view myself and the world and how I interact with others and so I'm I'm trying to recover from those negative thought thought negative thought uh, th no, negative thinking patterns I'm trying to recover from um, the bad habits that I picked up um, bad uh, behaviors or, or, or destructive behaviors or negative behaviors however you want to phrase it um, so I think I probably require a bit more I, I require a bit more attention in the um, improvement, self-improvement category. Um, but again, it's I don't want to. I'm trying to be careful not to just become so obsessed with improving myself that I fail to live my life and fail to do the things I want to do. In fact, by yeah, part of self-improvement, I suppose, is just living your life, accepting yourself for who you are, accepting your past, your present, um, and uh, just kind of doing your own thing and, and not worrying about the results or not worrying too much about what other people think, um, and certainly not wallowing in your um, the, the aspects of yourself or your character that you don't like. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing recently. Um, thank you for listening. Um, more videos in the future, or more videos to come.
Let me, just, let me rephrase that. Th uh, thank you for watching. Um, there will be plenty more videos on this channel in the near future, hopefully. Um, one thing I do want to do is try to uh, make my YouTube channel a bit more active. Um, so, yeah. Uh, take care.